Hey everybody out there, Chris here. Welcome back to another weekly comic book haul. We got a ton of comments to talk about this week, as well as uh, one little bit of news, and then we get into the comic books, which we had a huge pile of this week. First off, news-wise, Black Friday just passed, and of course Cyber Monday's coming up. However, uh, I've made all my purchases, or big purchases, um, during Black Friday. I have one comic book thing I bought, which is already here. It actually got here pretty quick. We got something for video games, we got something for movies and TV, and we got something for our electronics. So we are covered this year for Black Friday. Um, this bit of news is there will be a Black Friday haul video as soon as I get everything from Black Friday put together. It will be a special haul video. I do have one thing which you'll see on that haul video as well, but I figured since I got it today and it's the only thing that's comic related as far as book wise I figured I'd throw it here on the weekly haul and then the Black Friday haul have it again plus everything else so let's get into the haul there's not that much news this week but I do hope all of you had a safe and um, healthy Thanksgiving and Black Friday and if you guys are still gonna be in the markets for Cyber Monday good and uh, happy shopping to you guys I have completely finished my shopping for now, especially with one purchase, which you guys, it's going to help you guys out a lot, it's going to help me out a lot, and it's going to be huge all around. And I have Mike Spider Slayer to thank for that, because he gave me the idea. Yeah. Comic books this week. Yeah. Huge pile, but this does have a couple of indie things as well. I uh, did go reading through a few, so they are out of alphabetical order. Superior Spider-Man, issue number 22, Darkest Hour, begins here. Mike bought this one. It's a Vertigo Essentials, Why the Last Man, issue number one. Lots of people were raving about that series, so we'll see. The first of three books I missed from the week of the 13th of November, Nightwing number 25, Adventures of Superman number seven, All New X-Men number 19, Avengers Arena, the final issue, issue 18, Cataclysm Ultimate Comics X-Men, issue one, Batman, uh, Damien, Son of Batman, issue 2 of 4, so we are officially already halfway through the series. Crazy enough, right? The Flash gets its zero-year tie-in with issue 25. Teen Titans, 25. The final issue of Krypton Returns, Superman, 25. Wolverine and the X-Men, issue 38. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 28, with the Kevin Eastman wraparound cover. Scarlet Spider, issue 24. I believe this is the last issue. Let me make a double sure about that. I don't know for sure. Maybe not. Nope, next the end. The next issue is the last issue. Sorry. So issue 25 will be the uh, last issue. The Pentalum issue of the series. Red Lantern's 25. Nova, issue 10, but it says Nova, issue 100. It was a uh, $4.99 book, so it's a huge book. Yes, I'm still getting this. Lar Flees, issue 5. Because it's doing better than New Guardians, that's for sure. Hawkeye, number 14. Superior Carnage, issue number 5. Walking Dead, issue number 117. Almost hit my face there. Sonic Universe, 58. The final part of that pirate plunder panic. Justice League Dark, issue number 25. I believe this is where Blight begins. I'm not sure, and Mike's not giving me any indication, so okay. Forever Evil Argus, issue 2 of 6. And Michael's Jonah Hex, issue 25. And that's it for the books. My first Black Friday purchase that came in the mail today. Um, as you guys noticed, this is a day late because of the holidays. Everything was shipped a day late. And Sundays now are going to be days when we get mail. Anyway, uh... Tried to look this up all over the place. There were no reviews for this book. And you could bet your patooties that I will be doing a uh, expediated uh, comic book corner review of this book. So there will be a, a review for uh, this book. And this is the Superman Files compiled by Brainiac. This is basically like the Batman Journal except it's Brainiac's compilation of Superman's history from birth until... Um, New 52 and beyond. And I want to try to find some good pages. They have schematics for the Fortress of Solitude, uh, news clippings. Uh, for example, they have the Death of Superman, News Time, stuff like that. All oversized um, 
and stuff like this. This was 50% off. A little bit over actually 50, uh, more than 50% off. This this is a $75 book uh, otherwise. Uh, I got some Superboy stuff, which everybody knows I'm a huge pre-New 52 Superboy fan. And it goes all the way through until New 52 began, and it ends actually right where New 52 starts with Superman. Uh, I will be doing a full comic book corner review on this. I tried looking this book up everywhere. Whenever a new book, especially an expensive book or a huge book like this comes out, I always like to look it up on um, YouTube to see what people think of the book or what the book looks like or entails. And what really frustrates me is when there's nothing on a book like this, but there's like a million reviews for books that nobody, um, you know, for like a million and one reviews of books that nobody's really looking up to begin with. So, um... I saw it on one video from the Superman homepage where a guy literally was holding the book like this. Nothing about what's on the inside of the book, nothing about what it entails or anything. So I will be giving you guys a comic book corner uh, review of this book and a, a look through of this book uh, very soon. But if you're a Superman fan and you're curious about this book, the Superman Files is not like the um, encyclopedia. It's not like any book that you guys have of Superman. This is a timeline from Krypton to New 52. It has all the major events that happen with Superman, has all the supervillains from Superman, Superman, the, the many different costumes and changes, everything. So I feel I should give you guys just a little bit of a heads up about this book in advance. This way, if you're looking to buy it before Black Friday sales are over, get this book. If you are a Superman fan, if you got the Batman War Journal or whatever it was called, I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called, and I still didn't look it, uh, bring it down to look it up. But if you got that and you want to get one for Superman, this is it. This book is a huge compilation. It's over 300 and somewhat pages of Superman history. Tons of artwork in it. And if you are looking for a review on this and you haven't found it yet, listen to my advice. Get this book. It's worth it. It has a lot of awesome stuff in it. Lots of little tidbits and nice things here. What issue is Just Sleep Dark? 25. I think it begins by... Thank you. Fifteen minutes later. <laughs> no, I, I was looking at some. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. We are now in the weekly comic book haul, episode number three, was it? No, two. This is episode three. I don't know why it still says pending. I'm going to have to fix that. But anyway, starting from the bottom, working our way up, Nick Lenz, who every time I see a comment from you, Nick, you got two questions. Like it, but, you know, you don't have to always send two. You could send as many as you want. But anyway... Not like a thousand, though, please. <laughs> Two questions. First, did you know that the current artist for Thunderbolts was also the artist for Punisher Volume 4 and 5? Uh, no, and um, that really doesn't make us want to read Thunderbolts anymore. Nope. Even Mike's saying no. Second, what did you? Uh, why did you drop Thunderbolts? Was, the, was it the art, the writing, the story, or the lineup? The story. I thought the lineup was good. Oh. Uh, you could say yours. I thought the lineup was good. Didn't like the story, and the artwork was eh. The story was dropping. I mean, the artwork was a little bit okay, but the story, I felt, wasn't going anywhere. It was just... I don't know. I just didn't have my interest in... Yeah, we lost anymore. interest in the writing, and the artwork wasn't helping either. So, mm. more of a general, except the lineup. The lineup of the team was good. Uh, the addition to, of Ghost Rider is not making me want to buy the series, just like the addition of Blade isn't making me want to read Mighty Avengers anymore. Spice Nug, thanks for answering my question, Chris. My pleasure. Cool comic book haul this week. Agree with you regarding Batgirl. I was a bit annoyed as well, especially since it's been uh, the surprise hit of the New 52 for me personally. Quick question, do you think Martian Manhunter will rejoin the main Justice League after Forever Evil, or do you think he'll remain in the Justice League of America? <clears throat> I believe that John Jones will join the Justice League because, A, I believe he, it's going to be revealed that he was kind of the Justice League's um, spy on them, and B, Justice League of America is changing to Justice League Canada, so I don't think he's going to go across the border unless he does something which makes him a like a fugitive from the from America, which I doubt, especially because he's the one that's kind of fighting against the crime syndicate right now. So I believe, I think he would fit best with the Justice League, uh, but I guess we're just going to have to wait to see after Forever Evil if that's what we're going to get. But I would like to see John Jones with the Justice League as opposed to the Justice League of America. Uh, okay, moving up. 
Billy Superman J. Awesome Hall Bro. Love the Man of Steel collector set. I also love the Imagine the oh the image for the Hall Man. It's great to see all the Superman family like that. Thanks, Jay. Uh, Brandt actually made um, the little uh, spiced up new uh, thumbnail, and I think it's awesome. And he always hits the nail right on the head when it comes to my um, thumbnails. Some great stuff this week. Harley Quinn was great. I agree. Huge things are coming for to Comic Frontline. Yes, they are. If you guys haven't checked out Comic Frontline, please do, and we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Um, I love the question and answer portion, man. It's just a great way to interact with everyone and make it more personal. Keep up the great work. Definitely will, Jay. Thanks. Okay, Nick has uh, one, two, uh, uh, two other questions. So there's four. Thanks, Nick. First, what comic book is that just above Superman Unchained? And this is Spider-Man Unlimited, issue number eight. And, he, and I believe, yeah, I remember the second question. Does it remind you of Action Comics 25? No. The reason I bought this cover was, A, it's a really, really nice cover, and it has New York inside of Spider-Man. Uh, it kind of looks, I, I mean, I would agree with you that it kind of looks like Superman or Action Comics uh, 25, but at the same time, it's not. It is, but it's not. This has its own feel to it. If you were to put the two of them together, you'd see what I mean. If you want, I'm sure that it's on uh, Midtown Comics or any internet comic vendor. It's Spider-Man Unlimited, I believe, Volume 2. You'll find the cover. It's issue number 8. It's a really awesome issue, and I love the cover most of all. And then Cat Hayden Clare Zero says, Green Lantern was okay this week. Harley Quinn was great, though. Completely agree on both those um, comics. Next, we got Indie Review, issue uh, episode number 7, which was books from two weeks ago. We're doing last week's book, hopefully right after this uh, video. And we're starting from the bottom. Nick Lenz, another two questions. First, who decided to add me to Comic Frontline Friend Circle? I have no idea. Um, it could have been through a uh, friend suggestion on Frontline or anything. I don't use the Google Plus for Frontline, so I couldn't tell you. And then um, I'm just interested and I'm not mad at whoever added me to the Friend Circle. Second, who runs Comic Frontline? It's a good question, but at the same time, Comic Frontline is run by... Jay has been doing an awesome job. There are a bunch of people that work on Comic Frontline and behind Comic Frontline. Mostly everybody on Dark Avenger Inc. works on Frontline. Jay is, like, head of the forefront. He's doing a lot of the work on Comic Frontline. Anybody who asks questions about Comic Frontline, most of the time I point them in his direction because he's doing a amazing job on Comic Frontline. If you haven't checked it out, absolutely check it out. It's just been... It's been around now two weeks since our hiatus uh, broke, and it's just been going spectacular. So I would say if you want to point a finger at who's really the head guy at uh, Comic Frontline right now, it's Jay, because Jay's just got this stuff coming out. Literally, we get it, and the news is out there right away, and um, he's been doing tons and tons of work on the website. And we are continuing to um, build on Comic Frontline. Um, Jay and Brand and I have been, well, mostly... It's hard to explain, but between Jay Brant and I, we have a lot of stuff that we're working on for the site, and you guys will see that in the next couple of days. Next, we have Graflex. Thanks for the great review on Argo 5 number 1, guys. Um, I'm always trying to throw in some of those common themes of real life that I don't usually see addressing superhero comics. Yes, that chain reaction. What a player. <laughs> Lol. Date number 2 is actually his Chica in Brooklyn shout out. <laughs> Special thanks to Mike for the compliments on the art. I guess we're always our own worst critics, and I have improved since then, so I only see what I would like to tweak. Thanks again. And for those of you that don't know, Graflex is Dan Sin. He is the writer and artist of issue number one of Argo 5, but he is the full writer of Argo 5. Uh, indie review uh, that comes right after this, I will be reviewing Argo 5 issue number 2, and I have a physical copy of that, so I'll show you guys some artwork and the characters this time around. So, thanks Dan for the comment. Glad you're enjoying our reviews. I hope you continue to enjoy it as we move forward. I believe I have up to issue 5. We are now in Dark Avenger comic review issue number 212. Spice Nug. Great review, guys. Harley Quinn Zero was my pick of the week, so I'm glad you agree with me that it was a good. LOL. Can't wait for issue one. Really enjoy Rogue's Rebellion also. Same here. Both books were spectacular last week. 
Nick Lenz, another two questions. First, what would happen if all the heroes from Earth 2 were on the same team to take down the evil Earth 2 Superman? Uh, depends on the situation. I think that's kind of what's going to happen by the end of this story arc. Second, what's your favorite DC animated film of all time? One other thing, I'm having Google Plus, uh, and this is about the Google Plus hangout that unfortunately I did miss out on, Nick. Uh, I was this past Friday. Um, out of all the animated movies thus far, Superman Doomsday still stands out a lot for me. Um, I still haven't watched the recent couple, but, um, I would love to get Batman The Dark Knight Returns just to see how that, um, came together. But, uh, for right now, it's still Superman, uh, Doomsday. Mario Badillo. Once again, great review, guys. Thank you so much, Mario. I really enjoyed Superior Spider-Man Annual and Rogues Rebellion. As always, keep up the good work. By the way, guys, thank you again, Mario. Um, speaking of Superior Spider-Man Annual, I did find out it, it doesn't tie into the three set that I thought it did. That was uh, Superior Team-Ups, I believe, that um, culminated between those three Doc Ock returns. The annual for Superior Spider-Man was a standalone story. We are getting it. It is coming next week, so we will be reviewing it two weeks late, but we will have it next week. Um, with that, that's it for this comic book call, guys. Thank you all so much for the comments. Comic Frontline, like we were talk like I was talking about, and everybody was talking about in the comics, comments. Huge things coming for Comic Frontline. We got a lot of features, a lot of reviews. Our own Jay has been doing spectacular, getting that news out on time. Uh, everybody contributes a little bit here, there, and everywhere. Uh, right now it's the holidays, especially uh, when this video goes up. It'll be December 1st. Happy December, everybody. You know, for um, the holidays are here now, officially, like the very busy holiday. Um, the biggest of all holidays in December is coming up. Uh, and, yes, Christmas is going to keep myself very busy. I don't know about everybody else on Inc., but I know that during the holiday season, it's very hard to do as much as we do all year. But we try to give you guys as much as we can each and every day, uh, each and every week, and each and every month. December is just one of those months that's the hardest out of the entire year. So you get 11 hardcore months with us, and then there's one month where we kind of not drift off, but we kind of give a little bit less because we got a lot of stuff that we're doing. But hopefully everything will continue to move at a fluid Facebook Comic Frontline is building up really fast and really awesome. Huge partner company with uh, Comic Related and Dark Avenger Inc. It's kind of that site that brings us all together. Um, once again, Dark Avenger Inc. We're working on new things. Oh, guys, wait till you see the ideas we have for 2014. We are in December. Expect a um, update video on Dark Avenger Inc. at the end of the month. Maybe even at the beginning of January. I I'm I'm gonna probably go for the end of December. This way, I don't have you guys. Um, hanging too too long a lot of the teaser trailers didn't happen this year I do apologize for that sorry about that guys battery on the camera decided to die we forgot to charge it anyway beside the point going back to what I was saying closing out the episode uh, the teaser images we didn't get a lot of them covered this year but we did get a few extra things that happened this year teasers will be carried over of course into the the coming year as well as newer things that are going to be added i'm not going to do teaser images this time but we have a lot planned for ink i have a lot planned for myself there's a lot going to be going on on comic related there's going to be a huge amount of stuff going on on comic frontline and hopefully by next year we'll have darkavengerink.com the website up and it's just going to be amazing awesome stuff that you guys are going to really enjoy and uh, if you haven't already told your friends about dark avenger inc and about all of our sites Please do, this way um, everybody knows, you know, just spread the word about Dark Avenger Inc., spread the word about all of us, get us out to as many people as we can, let the Dark Avenger Inc. revolution begin, as we've said several times. We're trying to reach out to as many people as we possibly can. We want the world to know that we exist and we are out there and we are watching everything comic-wise and maybe movie-wise. I'm not spoiling anything yet. Like I said... There will be an update video as soon as I get everything uh, ironed out and all the new stuff set up. I'll give you guys the lowdown on what's going on on Dark Avenger Inc. As far as this channel, look forward to a lot more um, comic book corner episodes as soon as I get around to reading those books. But I'll tell you guys, it's hard. A lot of indie books and a lot of big two books. By the end of the week, I'm spent. 
when it comes to reading books. So I'll try my hardest to get you guys a, a book review. But like I said, you will be getting a review of this book since nobody else does it. I hate when there's something out there that I'm really interested in and nobody uh, reviews it. But then again, this is a very hefty price for this book. So I'm not so surprised that nobody has reviewed it yet. But I will make sure to get a review out to you guys in the entire world. This way there will be a review for the Superman Files. And... Um, Hopefully it'll answer some of your guys' questions on the Superman Files. If you have any questions about the Superman Files, about the books, any comments, any uh, opinions that you'd like to know on my end, if you have anything you'd like to know my opinion on, feel free to leave it in the comments below. The comments from this video, indie, the next indie review, and episode 213, I believe, uh, sorry, episode 8 of the indie reviews, and episode 213 of the Dark Avenger comic book review episode, all three of these will be um, gone. Will be uh, talked about on the next uh, weekly comic book call. I screwed that up completely, but from the next three videos on my channel, um, your comments will be reviewed on and talked about on comic book call issue episode number four. Building it up. We'll see when we get to hall 100 what we have, but that's a fair amount of time away, and it takes a long time to get to 100 from here. So, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Don't forget to check out ComicRelated.com, number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. ComicFrontline.com, yes, it is a .com now, and DarkAvengerInc.com. Bunch of stuff coming out of all those websites. Check them all out on your free spare time. Also on Dark Avenger Inc., we got a ton of links to things that one or more of our members are a part of, or work on, or do with, or whatever. So do click those links and check those sites out as well. So this way you are fulfilled with your comic book wanting needs. There is tons of stuff out there for you guys to check out. And uh, we try to give it to you all in one big old packer, John Dark Avenger Inc. And um, it's been an amazing year thus far. We still have one month to go, though. And a lot can happen in one month. We made our impact this year, but that doesn't mean we aren't still looking to make a little bit of a bang before the end of the year. So look forward to anything and everything on any and all of our channels, especially Dark Avenger Inc. Take care, everybody. See you guys in the next review.